Lesser Light by Matthew Draper Chapter 15 Here he was in my home, Sebastian Grant, the last of Morgan's true believers. Sebastian, sender of creepy angels and cryptic messages. Or so I thought. He rose to his feet, scooping up scrumples in his arms. Fickle scrumples decided they were having none of it and wiggled free, leaping out of Sebastian's grip. Their claws left a nasty scratch across the back of his hand. Oi, stupid cat, he yelped. As the grey fur flashed up the stairs, I came to their defence. Scrumples isn't stupid, they're discerning. I switched on the warm tap at the sink. Here, wash that cut. I opened a cupboard to find a plaster. Scrumples knows what's up. Why are you here, Sebastian? He followed me inside and stuck his hand under the water. I can't drop in on an old friend without judgement, thanks. You ought to put germline on it too, I said, opening up a sticky plaster so he could place it over the scratch. Antiseptic. I don't need western medicine. But he still accepted the plaster. I can pray for healing, unlike the rest of you heathens. He smiled as he said it, but I sensed he meant it. How's that working out for you? I asked. Seen a lot of miracles lately? I knew I was repeating the same arguments Lizzie had made to me only a couple of days before. But she had been right. Besides, something about Sebastian's certainty made me more unsure than ever. I've seen some things. He did not elaborate. Are you going to put the kettle on or what? A few minutes later, mug of tea in hand, we sat down to talk on the sofa in the front room. I subtly moved Oscar's files under a notebook so Sebastian could not see what they were. OK, let's have it, I said, turning towards him. Why did you send me those files? Why did you run away from Oscar's grave? Sebastian, who had looked confident when we sat down, faltered, confused. What files? On Christmas, with the angel statues and the creepy snowman card in the graveyard, we saw you tried to stop you, but you got away. I was with Lizzie. I don't know what you're talking about. I have not been to see Oscar for years. It wasn't you. I explained about the Christmas present and the message we had found left behind on the grave. Harry, that wasn't me. I've never sent you anything. Why would I? I thought you would have agreed we need to end it. I just assumed it was you. Who else is as invested as us? Of course I wouldn't end it, Sebastian leant forward, lowering his voice. I'm starting it. I set down my tea. Starting what? Restarting, I should say. The worship of G. The lesser light to rule the night. Don't you see? I've worked to study basic theology after Sheffield, but it never worked. I couldn't sum up the miracles the way we used to. I wasn't seeing healings or transportation or any of it. Remember how it felt? I need that again. But it doesn't work with the big god. They're too big, too distant, too far away. You can't fly that close to the sun. The moon, though, that's close. He's close. Sebastian paused, his eyes exploring mine as if searching for a clue. He's back, you know. No, I didn't know. I hadn't seen him. He hadn't been here in my kitchen on Christmas Eve. He wasn't a thing. The whole sect had been a scam. Even Morgan was ready to admit it, yet here was Sebastian, trying to resurrect something the rest of us had put to death. We can do it, Sebastian said. You and me and the others. We will all be together at the wedding. It's going to be the best time to do it. I tried to tell Morgan, but he's too scared. I don't know if he ever believed like you and I. Have you heard his podcast? Sebastian placed his mug of tea on the floor so he could gesture more widely with his hands. You and me and Oscar, we were the true believers. The others only followed and boosted what we had, what 
you had actually. It's hard for me to admit, but I can't do it on my own. I shook my head. This was the wrong direction. Backward instead of forward. I was used to being overlooked now by Rocco's family and the village who did not see me. It should have felt good to have Sebastian appeal to me directly, but the cracks had taken hold of the foundation now. I was not the one to rebuild it. Not me. I'm not, I can't face it again. As Rocco had told me, the past is gone. You can't live there. Sebastian erupted to his feet, kicking his teacup flying across the room as he twisted around so he was looming above me. I felt small, trapped against the arm and cushions of the sofa, under his gaze. I want what you have, he growled. I need your faith. Mine can't keep him here for long. Sebastian pressed one of his hands flat against my chest, his other on the top of my head, pushing my face back. I need to feel the power you felt, the power you and Dylan shared. You know what it is. You have to feel it again. You have to give it to me. I struggled against him, but he was stronger than he looked. I gasped. Get out of here, you freak! I could feel something coursing through my body. Adrenaline. Fear. Definitely not power. Sebastian snarled. You have access to Gabriel I cannot compete with. He shoved me harder into the sofa by my chest. I thought he was going to crack my ribs. I felt as though the cushions were swallowing me up, surrounding me as I was pressed deeper and deeper, a black hole opening below me. Scrumples leapt into the fray. They jumped over me and latched onto Sebastian's thumb with their teeth as he attempted to hold me down. Never mind the tiny scratch from before. This would leave a mark. Stupid cat! Sebastian yanked his hand away, gave my head one last shove before removing himself. He hissed at Scrumples and stormed out of the house. Lesser Light is an online event. Head to lesserlight.blog to join in the comments section or share this story on Facebook, Twitter, Hive or your favourite social media platform. The Lesser Light paperback is available from lulu.com or other booksellers or you can download the ebook now. But remember, no spoilers until New Year's Day. The story is fictional, but if the elements about trauma, cults or recovery have affected you, you can find helplines at lesserlight.blog.